Welcome to this tutorial on Mathematica for Physics. Mathematica is a symbolic computation software which makes it very useful for physics. In this video, I will give a very brief introduction on how to start off with Mathematica. The basic building block of Mathematica codes are written in what are called notebooks. So to create a notebook, we go to new documents and we click on notebook. This notebook is just like a physical notebook a blank one where we can write anything we can write, we can write title comments code we can write code to evaluate and everything so to start off we would like to write a title we go to format style and then select a title introduction to mathematics so this is our title now we, if we want to have a section we go to format style section and we name it section 1 if you noticed there are two kinds of cursors one is this horizontal one and the other is the usual vertical one the difference between them is that the horizontal ones are used to create new cells cells are each lines of code that were written these can be code or text so this is a text this is a cell this one is a cell. If I want to create another cell, I get a horizontal, I click, and I start typing. So this becomes another cell. The vertical one, the vertical pointer is used just like the normal vertical pointer for selection within a cell. So let's get writing. Now, since now we have a new cell, we can start typing. So these in Mathematica, we can give give input as text or symbols. So, this is a valid input. Any input is a valid input. So, I can write five raised to power of two. Now, since it's a symbolic computation software, I can write it as five raised to two, just like we write it on paper. To do this, we go to Eval palettes and select basic maths as assistant so here it is so if I want to have 5 square I select 5 and select this option 2 so now we have 5 square if I want to have square root of 5 I select this and I type 5 compared to usual computing languages like C, MATLAB where to write square root I have to give a function sqrt of x just like sqrt of 5 here I don't have to because it's a symbolic language and I can just write the symbol of 5 just like you would write in a normal ordinary notebook instead of going to the palette again and again there are shortcuts if I want to raise something to some power if I want to raise I can press control and 6 and I get 5 raised to 5 Now these were what was what we called basic input. They weren't evaluated. If I write 2 plus 2, it is not evaluated right now. It is just a data that has been fed to Mathematica. To evaluate something, I have to press shift plus enter. Voila, Mathematica gave the result as 4. If I want to do, do the same with 5 square, remember, control plus 6 to raise something the shortest control plus 6 to raise something to some other power say 5 and I press control plus 6 and 2 5 square now if I press shift enter it gives me 25 let's do some more computation if I want to compute sine of x square plus cos of x square and I evaluate we know that the simplified answer is 1 so this is the expression that MATLAB and uh, Mathematica understands now if I want to simplify it there is a command called simplify which we will get later and then we pass the last result as an argument this is done by entering this sign the percentage sign and I evaluate and I get the answer as 1 so to evaluate cells in Mathematica, 
press shift and enter shift plus enter evaluate cells if i want to write a comment the shortcut is alt plus 7 so this is a comment ah. now this line won't be evaluated even if i press shift and enter since it's a comment now i create another cell mathematica has a wonderful documentation for example if i want to know about a certain command say simplify I can write question mark, simplify, and evaluate it. So it gives me a brief idea of what simplify is. It says that it returns the simplest form it finds. If I want to get into more details, I select what I want to know, right click, and I go to get help. This opens the wonderful Mathematica documentation, which gives the details about the function with various examples and various options and applications, and also related functions so if you're stuck anywhere the best help is the Mathematica documentation if I create another section remember sections were created from format style section the shortcut is alt plus 4 so I will use the shortcut alt plus 4 and write as section 2 now you see our notebook has become sort of long and I want to encapsulate section 1 all I have to do is double click here so it's hidden now I can again write keep working on section 2 if I want to expand my section 1 I double click this and it's expanded so this concludes our basic introduction to Mathematica in the next videos we will delve deeper thank you for watching